Hi peeps, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad to see you again. Today I'm shooting video about groceries in Russia. So what really happened is many many foreign students who come from abroad to study in Russia, they are really wondering like do we have cheap prices, do we have expensive prices, like do we have enough food in our grocery and like many many stuff that they are interested in because they are traveling to Russia and they are going to study here for like four years or five years so I decided to not like text back to those students to each of the students instead I decided to shoot video for them and you can like observe you can think you can decide you can prepare for coming to Russia I'm wondering guys if you want like those videos about like shopping centers in Russia clothes shop about transport about apartments about like cinema theaters like streets whatever you want if you want me to shoot something more you can ask me in this comment section and i will do video for you because i really want to help you guys so who doesn't know me i'm kisa i'm from russia i live here i study here and i make videos here you can watch them after watching this video and i wanted to make uh, some updates about recently news that happened to me here in russia first of all basically it is first day of snowing in Russia. I'm really excited about that but unfortunately as I started shooting the snowing just stopped so I can't show you guys right now but soon you will have an opportunity to see how it's snowing here in Russia. Also I got my Indonesian batik pants and if you watch my last video about batik exhibition in Russia after that I got more batik. I'm so lucky I know that. Look at this. It says Utra Panhang Jumbo de Kalangan, Indonesia. So I'm very excited to wear these batik pants. Also, it's like my first kind of match that I have here. Let's look at this. Let me unpack it. Look. If you're in Russia and doesn't matter in what city you are, you can like order this. If you are in other country, it will be a little bit difficult. But still, I can manage to send you this Kisa button. If you support Kisa, please wear Kisa subscribe merch button. Okay guys, I just put my camera off and it started snowing, uh, what a blessing day, actually can see cornflakes on my shot, what a beautiful day to start this video. So peeps, uh, right now I'm taking you to Russian grocery, starting with prices, most foreign students are very 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 stressed because of the latest news, yes, they are becoming more and more high many products become super like expensive for russians for ordinary russians and the situation in russia you know is not very stable so i'm not gonna lie about this fact i wanted to tell you this fact before i'm going to groceries so you can see the kind of prices we have now most popular groceries are named as Pitorichka, Magnit, also we have Verni and Perikroste. So those are names of most common groceries that we have. Also we have Ashan, but most people don't have Ashan near their houses, so they are forced to go to Pitorichka. Now, each of the grocery has like cart that you can buy. Number first information you need to know. You can buy this card uh, at the Casa. Number second, they are not expensive. You can buy them and then use as a discount for the products you buy. This is not necessary. If you want, you can buy. If you don't, you still can buy products and this is okay. You can also buy bag. You can be served by a system of the grocery either you can buy it yourself because right now in russia increasing number of casa that you can use by yourself 
And of course we have shopping carts and that kind of case where you can leave your clothes or your other bags so you will be more comfortable buying product and they are located near the, the entrance of the groceries right now we are going to number one grocery in russia called Pitorchka. Russian groceries called Pitorochka. First of all, you can see vegetables and fruits section. Let me say that the freshness of this food will depend on the season that we have because in Russia like there are four seasons if you are like from hot country if you are vegetarian you have to be ready that in Russia the menu of your everyday food will not be consisted of super super fresh veggies. Some international product you will probably not find in Russia because, for example, Coca-Cola doesn't exist in Russia anymore. If you are fond of energy drink, we still have a lot in Russia. Now let me say that some products are considered to be to have a very good quality, right? I feel myself responsible to tell you which products are very good, can be expensive, and which products not very fresh. But cheap. So most of people buy milk in shops and I have to say that those boxes and in bottles Russians don't really appreciate because if it is in bottle or in a box it means that this kind of milk is not fresh. Russians mostly appreciate such products that you can see I'm advising you to buy. Another example if we come to juice section we have a lot of them. By the way some of them doesn't have like color because of sanctions and this kind of juice uh, used to be like green color and now it's white it's kind of sad but funny also the most uh, quality juice that we have is called rich it is uh, very expensive but it does have taste of juice if you buy another types of juices they like have like sugar now in terms of drinks uh let me say something about water we have uh very variable waters the thing is it can be cheap it can be expensive depending on the quality but if you have stomach issues i really advise you to buy water for kids in the tea section we have two types of russians really appreciate one of them is this and the second one is liquor also we have a lot of variable variable snacks a lot of chocolate a lot of russian chocolate despite uh mars i guess if you are not vegetarian you can find a lot of uh, variable meat in fridges kind of a lot of people in russia buy these products like meat products in other shops like to find better quality meat because like it's very important to a uh, meat from a healthy animal right if i say in pitorchka we have only food or, or only drinks it will be wrong because we also have some products that people need in their everyday life cleaning for showering and especially uh, this is important information for girls you can find necessary things for you also Torichka in russia there is a tendency to sell a uh, fresh bread products some of the products are very very delicious very tasty you can grab a bag and like put everything you want in it and then go with this bag to the casa also new thing about Pitorochka it happened very recently that we have coffee machines if you are coffee lover there is a good news for you I'm not responsible for the taste of this coffee because I don't really know how it tastes it's cheap but the taste of this coffee might be not liked by many coffee lovers 
So that's all for this video peeps. As you can see, it's super snowing right now. Hope this video was very useful for you. I hope that you need that kind of information. Subscribe to Kisa. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!